I'm going to leave a link down below in the description, but there's a, there's a recent KGW news report that says that to live in Portland, minimum wage needs to be at least at $31 an hour. Now let me say this. I don't have an opinion on the issue. I don't think that uh, you know, uh, taking steps towards greater inflation is going to fix the root problem. Uh, and the root problem is rising cost of living. So $31 an hour, well you know what, with half that I could find a place. Um, it is possible, I think that's a little high, but regardless, this is coming from the mainstream media, same mainstream media that published reports saying that Portland was the number one place to move to. Now notice, one calendar year after KGW comes out with that sensational uh, headline and rating, we see this other headline that says, hey, if you wanna live here, you need to make at least $31 an hour. That's outrageous. But it's an admission. And I also want to say on another note, there's a lot of things that some of you may have considered controversial. Certainly, there are people that a year ago on Facebook thought some of the things that I said were controversial when they were still high off of Portland's elevated status. For those whose egos are attached to the ego personality of Portland, which I don't think is very mentally healthy. Uh, but it does happen, and I've noticed it a lot in this particular geographic region of the Earth. A lot of identity with the personality of the city. Um, what I want to say is, now we're seeing mainstream admissions of not only that, but other things that I've talked about well over a year ago. And we're seeing things that I've talked about years ago um, being reported on a more regular basis. You know, I've talked about this plans for World War III, and we're seeing a lot more headlines about that. So my point is this, this is all heading somewhere. This is all heading towards a less friendly city, a more populated city. And I think a city with more crime and a city that at some point will see a plummet in public safety, okay? I am being consistent with my warnings and I don't think this is a great place to raise a family. I think people need to start considering where they're gonna go from here on out. If you're not in the uh, wealthier class of people, um, and if you're someone that doesn't really value um, making lots of money, if that's not your lifestyle, if, if you're interested in more or less a freedom-based lifestyle, um, Portland really isn't for you. And a lot of people that used to enjoy that freedom-based lifestyle when Portland was more of a livable city, a lot of those people have left. A lot of those people really don't live here anymore. Seriously, there's a lot of people that I used to know that have already left Oregon. And what I've also seen is how Oregon has changed to some people. Well, Portland rather. How some people have become um, used to their enslavement. And some people have been here so long that they haven't noticed the changes at all. And it's really when you leave a place for several years and then uh, you come back to it after a few years away that you see the change in the culture, that you see the change in the society, that you see the, the, the increase in the divide between the have and have nots. It's much easier for me to see it having left Portland for three years. So this trajectory, this, um, I, I mean, I, I see it as an unnatural rise in the cost of rent, unnatural rise in the cost of living. And it's going to continue happening across the board, not only with rent, but utilities, cost to drive your car. They're also looking at the, uh, the gas task, tax. They want to implement that in Oregon. Um, and you have other fees uh, that just deal with being a, a citizen, uh, not to mention the, the street tax that has been a local uh, issue in the Portland area for some time. They're looking for even more money to, uh, so they say, maintain the streets. And originally they were pushing a plan, it would be an increase, uh, it would be a, a tax basically $135 per household. Now some people might be thinking, well maybe it's time for people to have roommates. Well here's the thing, uh, a lot of young single people have been doing that for years. They have been doing the roommate uh, experience. And about a decade ago or so, maybe a little bit longer than that, it was about 325, 350 on average to uh, rent a room. And most of my life, at least since the age of 18, I've had roommates. I've been on probably 15 different roommate situations, maybe 10. Uh, you know, when you live in a city for 10 years, you know, it's a few months here, a couple years here, uh, you get a little experience 
dealing with living with different people and it's not easy and Portland's also a place where people can be a little bit judgmental as to who they let in their house and some people that are uh, into some of the alternative lifestyles don't want to have straight men there uh, some people only want people that are uh, that they see as being just like them so I've also seen discrimination when it comes to um, people deciding which roommate they're gonna live with and sometimes it's better for people to be different to have differences of beliefs but in Portland there are some people that just want the same people in the household so it's one thing I'm a But we'll go ahead and conclude the video now. Down below in the link to the description, uh, you can see the headline for the uh, article from KGW, uh, which says, to live in Portland, you now need to have uh, a job where you are making over $31 an hour uh, minimum wage. So that's not me saying that I think that we should have minimum wage increased to $31 an hour. I'm merely reporting on the fact that the latest news the latest reports are that you need to make, on average, that much in order to be able to pay your rent and live inside somewhere here in Portland, Oregon.